you are going to fail. And before I get too deep into this video, y'all know I like to say, I hope you guys are having a super fantastic day right now. Maybe you're catching this as soon as you wake up. Maybe you're on break uh, from work right now and you just happen to come across my video. Maybe it's towards the end of your day and you're watching this. Whenever you're watching it, however you're watching it, hopefully you're having a super fantastic day right now. And those of you, and I don't do this often, but those of you who have been tapping in with each piece of my content, each video, each post, each tweet, whatever it is, I appreciate you guys so much, man. As a content creator, somebody who puts a lot of energy into this stuff, hence the name, Energetic Pat. I put a lot of time into these and I put a lot of heart and soul and blood, sweat and tears into the editing, into the recording, into the messages, of course. I put a lot into it. So to hear you guys give me some feedback and to say like, hey, I got something from this or man, that, that was really, really good. Man, I appreciate you guys so much. You know, the crowd isn't big right now, but the few of you that are sharing my stuff and actually watching the stuff each and every single time that I post, man, I appreciate you guys and I thank you because we're going to keep the ball rolling, especially this week. You know, I've been, I've been ramping out the videos. The, can the content has been coming out, all right? And we're going to keep the ball rolling today because I want to talk about failure, all right? You are going to fail. There's no ifs, no ands, no buts about it. No matter how much you try to avoid it, you are going to fail. And speaking of avoidance, I think that's probably the biggest issue when it comes to failure. And that may be towards the top as far as the biggest reasons why people fail is because they try to avoid failure. And you're probably wondering like, oh, what the hell, what do you mean? Like you, everybody should be trying to avoid failure. No, not necessarily because failure is a part of the process. You have to fail. If you try something new, you got a new business, you got a new idea, you're trying something that's unusual to you, you are going to fail because it's something that's unusual to you. It's something that's new to you. And within the failures are all the lessons that you need to learn. Let me use this example for you, right? I was in school, middle school, junior high. I was a terrible student. I'm not saying I was a bad kid, like I was acting up and things like that, but when it came to grades, them grade reports would come out, oh. You talking about D's and F's, maybe even straight F's, depending on, you know, uh, the year that I'm talking about, but just horrible, horrible grades. Parents getting on me like, oh, you better than this. Why are you getting D's and F's? Like I was getting on my own head a lot. Like, why the hell am I getting D's and F's? You know, more than my parents, you know, and I used to think that I was dumb or stupid and I just accepted that. Like, oh man, that was, that. that's it. That's why I, I got D's and F's and stuff like that. And my fear of failing was so great that I almost didn't want to do anything. Like I felt if I didn't study, if I didn't do no homework, there's no way I can fail because I didn't do anything. Like if I try and I fail, like I'm gonna be hurt. So I'm just not gonna do anything. And you know, everything should be solid. When, you know, the test would come and I'd get 37%, you know, the homework would come and I, and I wouldn't turn it in because I didn't even do it because I was scared of saying, oh, I don't, I don't understand. Like my, avoidance or me trying to avoid failure actually allowed me to fail even more. Fail more than I probably should have failed when I was in school. Now, th this isn't on the topic of, yeah, school just ain't for everybody. I, I ain't on that. I'm just using my experience because when I got into high school, when I got into college, school was cake. It was no problem. But I learned not to avoid failure anymore, not to you know, try to like, oh my God, I don't want to fail. I'm so scared to fail. It's like, no, nah, you still got to study. If you're afraid to fail, if you don't understand, ask the questions, go get some tutoring. Stop being so insecure about you not knowing something and go get your help. And y'all know I like to use my experience. And a lot of you can relate, especially if you're around my age, you know, and you struggled in school um, for the same reasons because you were, you know, afraid of failure and things like that. And I'm here to tell you guys, that you need to rewire your thinking. The goal shouldn't be to avoid failure. You know why? Because failure is a part of the process. Whether you're careful about it or uncareful about it, everybody fails at some point in their life. So with that being said, if failure is a given at some point, then the thought process shouldn't be, oh, how, how should I avoid failure? Because I think that's why a lot of people are unprepared when the failures hit them and when the barriers hit them because they condition themselves to think that failure is not going to happen. If I live this way, failure is not gonna happen. And then when failure, or in other words, life, hits them in the mouth, 
They're like, ah, I don't know what to do now. Like I'm just, I'm stuck. And that's why people um, have a lot of anxiety now. I believe depression and all those other things, especially kids, you know, because school teaches them like, oh, this is the way things are gonna be. And then life, when they get out of school, is gonna hit them in the mouth and say, hey, this is what it actually is. And they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle failure because they've been spoon fed. They've been getting cupcaked all the way up until they hit an adult. And life is hitting them and it feels like they're suffocating and things of that nature. And that's why they feel the way that they feel. And you may be the same type of person right now. You may feel the same way. You have conditioned yourself or you have been conditioned to think that avoiding failure is the way to go. And it's not. It's all about embracing the failure. Pray for the best, but prepare for the worst, right? There's nothing wrong with being extra prepared, right? You need to go through and you need to go through every step of everything that you want to do. Go through every possible outcome. I know you really, really want things to come out positive, but what are you going to do just in case they don't? Like, what if, what if they don't come out positive? What are you going to do? Are you still going to be able to adjust things and still continue to work towards your goals? Or when that failure hits you in your mouth, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm down for the count, man. I don't even feel like getting out. I don't even feel like getting up right now. I don't even feel like doing anymore. I don't feel like working hard anymore. Are you going to be one of those people? Or are you going to prepare yourself just in case the failures come? Because they will. They may not be that big. They may be big. I don't know how. I don't know the shape, form, size. I don't know. But just know that the failures are going to come. So reshape your mind. Don't avoid the failures. Embrace them. Plan for them. Because they're going to hit you in the mouth. They're going to knock you on your ass. And it's going to be up to you to make the choice. Are you going to get up or are you going to stay there? And all of you have the capability to get up, to continue to fight towards your goals and dreams. But a lot of that comes from preparing yourself for that. Prepare yourself that no matter what happens, no matter what failures come my way, no matter what barriers come my way, I'm prepared to bounce back from them. Because that's what life is all about. Life ain't never perfect. The odds ain't never in anybody's favor. Life is going to do everything that it can to keep you down. But that's the great thing about human beings. We have the choice. We have the capability to be like, you know what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to try again. Are you going to knock me down again? All right, that's cool. Let me wipe the dust off and we're going to go for it again. That's the cool thing about being a human being. That's the cool thing about the failures. Like I said, don't avoid the failures. I avoided the failures or tried to avoid the failures in school and it, it allowed me to fail even more. I got chewed out by my parents even more. But when I started to accept the failures that they may come, and then when I started to not be insecure about me not knowing and how the other kids were gonna think about me in school for not knowing, that's when I really started to excel in school. And those habits that I built in school transition to everything else that I'm doing now. I don't like school no more than you like school. I hate school, I hate the structure of school. But I'm thankful that I went to school and I'm thankful that I went to college because those habits that I forced myself to build, they're transitioning to everything else that I'm doing and I'm starting to see the benefits of everything now. I'm starting to see the benefits of working hard, studying certain things, pushing yourself to the limit every single day. And I want you to see the benefits of everything else that you're doing right now. Those habits go a long way. I've talked about it before, but your habits right now, they're preparing you for whatever else is coming in your future. And there's gonna be good things, I promise you, but there's gonna be some failures along the way and you have to know how to bounce back from them. And even if you don't know how to bounce back from them, you gotta have, have it set in your mind that, hey, I am going to bounce back. I don't know how, but I'm gonna I'm do it. See, I almost cursed again. See, I'm trying to really center myself, man, but when I get going, y'all know it's hard for me to do that because it just, it, just, it just flows, man, it just flows. But you need to find a way to bounce back no matter what. Failure is gonna come, so I'm trying to avoid it, embrace it, and find a way to work through it and bounce back from it ultimately, all right? That's the video for today. The quote for y'all that I'm gonna end the video off with, pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. All right, always be prepared for whatever comes your way. Want good things, but just in case the bad things come and when they come, you know what to do to bounce back from it, all right? Y'all have a super fantastic rest of your day. I will see y'all when I see y'all, all right?